I looking good, you too? Am I looking good? How you guys, <laughs> how you guys doing today? You already know where we at. This is a professional right here. We get, we about to get this, we about to get this upper, upper echelon move going. Nah, you guys know I like to, I, I like to play around, I like to be joking. But anyway, yeah, like I told you guys uh, the other day, I'm gonna make this video and talk about this Lao shoe, like, where, why do I got this name? Where's this name come from? Why, why am I called Lao Shu? Why I call myself Lao Shu? So, for many of you, you already know what Lao Shu means. Lao Shu means mouse, rat, okay, Chinese. A lot of people uh, get it mixed up with Lao Shu, which means teacher. They say, hey, your name means teacher. So it's not Lao Shu. Lao Shu means mouse. So, I started learning Chinese at the age of 18, long, long time ago, long time, about 20 years ago. And at that time, around that time, actually, this is before I actually, I was 18, but I hadn't, I didn't start learning Chinese yet. But I had met, I went up to this Chinese restaurant, okay? And um, I went up there and there was a guy, his name was Kevin. He used food, I still remember, he was from Fujian. Pretty cool guy, pretty cool family. And, um, I went up there. You got the crab. Your tuna will be right out. Thank you. No rice, biscuits. sir. No biscuits, okay. It's all right. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. So basically, uh, I went up there and, I, you know, I started talking with that guy. And, um, he was real friendly and stuff. And uh, I started going up there very often. Hi. Hey. What are you guys doing, doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, I started talking with him very, I started going up there very often and um, we got, we became friends. I even ended up going over his house, playing video games, one of his stuff. It was, uh, we had a good friendship going on there. And um, I remember he, because his family can't speak English, and he invited me up there to his restaurant one time. He said, hey, you want to come and have dinner with the, with me and my family? And I said, I said, sure. I said, yeah, why not? So I went up there and I didn't know any Chinese, none. Like I said, this is like way, this is like way before I started learning Chinese. Thank you. Okay. So this was like way before I started learning Chinese. And then like we were all, they had this, cause I was confused man. Like when I got up there, they had these tables, they had a whole, the tables together. And they had like a whole, they had like a whole fish, vegetable, all these vegetables and these little, uh, they had like different like uh, bowls and like these side dishes and stuff. And I was looking at them like, I ain't never seen that. No, that's it, that's it, yeah. I was looking, I was looking at that stuff. I was like, what is that? Cause I never seen, I never seen it. And I'm thinking like, we about to have Chinese food, the food that they they cook there. But when I saw it, I was like, this is not on the menu. This is, this is this looks different. I asked him, I said, so y'all don't cook this here, do you? And he said, no, he said, that's, he said, we don't. He said, he told me, he said, uh, he said, actually, we don't eat that. He said, the food that we cook and we sell here in Maryland, we don't eat that food. We don't eat that. That's not, that, we don't eat that. He said, this is what we eat. So they, that's, they, they eat like a different type of food, like more healthy food. Like it's, it was, it was really interesting. And so, I, you know, I shared with them, I ate. And then like, his parents was, they were saying something to him. The cooks, they were, they were saying that from the Chinese. And then like, he was asking me stuff. And then like, one of the questions was like, what's, they want to know what your name is. He's like, my mom wants to know what your name is. So I was saying Moses. And I was trying to say that, and they were trying to pronounce the name saying Moses. His mom, I remember his mom and his daddy was trying to pronounce the name saying Moses, Moses, Moses. And I was like, no. And then like, um, he looked at me, he said, you know what? He said, I got a name for you. I know what we're going, I know what we're going to call you. We're going to call you Lao Shu. And when he said that, everybody started laughing. Like his mom, dad, they all started laughing. He's gonna call you Lao Shu. So he told them that that's the name he was gonna give me. And I was like, and I'm, I'm I, I didn't know what was going on because I didn't know any Chinese. So I'm like, what is that? What does that mean? He said that means mouse. And then I was like, man, why I gotta be a mouse? But then I understood because they were pronouncing my name wrong. They were the way they were trying to pronounce my name, Mo Moses. They were saying mouse. They was getting it all wrong. So. You know, I embraced the name. Yeah, you know, at first it was just weird because it's like, wow, why? That's not even that's not even my zodiac. Like, why would you 
Why would I, why I ought to be called something like that? It's not even my zodiac. Hey, how you doing? And then okay. he was like, okay. and then like, uh, yeah, so I embraced the name and uh, that's how I got the name Lao So I really like the name, you know, and it makes sense when I explain it to Chinese people when they say, what are you calling it? They say, oh, they, they say, oh, okay. Cause like most of the time when I tell Chinese people that that name that I tell them that's my new name, they say no, no good. They'll say no good. They's like no, that's that bad. That's the they will say that's dirty. You know that's that not, not a good name. You know, so yeah, that's how I got the name. And uh, you know those they were, those were good people, man. I had a good relationship with them, man. Like, and I think shortly after that I started learning Chinese. Cause like I said, I didn't know any. I went out and got a book, the phrase book. I told him, I was like, man, I'm gonna start learning Chinese. And he was like, yeah, man, just like, do it, do it. And then it was crazy, cause like, I ain't, I ain't went up there to a restaurant for like two months or something like that. For some reason, I got busy with something. And um, when I went up there, the, the restaurant was closed. They was gone. Like the restaurant was closed and I, cause I had his number too. And I called, number, went going through. And I was like, damn, that's weird. They just disappeared. That was like two months. It was like two months. They just, they just up and up and left, man. I used to go up there all the time. I was either, it was, there was even a, um, cause they had got like this, they like often, they got like some new service. It was a Chinese girl. She's from Fujian. She had her hair, she got dye hair. She was, oh man, she was hot. <laughs> she was hot. She was hot. And I was trying to, and, and uh, I was telling my dude Kevin, I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, where, where she where she come from? Because she was new. Like, where she come from? He's like, yeah, she's a new server. And I was trying, you know, she couldn't speak, she couldn't really speak English, so I couldn't even really talk to her. I was trying to talk to her. And she was like laughing and she, you know, she shaking her head like that. But man, that was devastating though when they left like that. When I lost contact. But like I said, it was like two months that I didn't go up there. I can't remember what was going on at the time, but it was like two months that I didn't go up there. And I went back up there and they was gone. The restaurant was closed and everything. Wow. Yeah. And I have to honestly say, my heart was a bit broken, man. My heart was a bit broken because it was like special to me. Because like I never really, like that food, when they invited me up there for that food, like that was, I never experienced anything like that. Like when I saw that food like that on that table, it was like a lot, but they had like several tables together. They all that food, different food that you don't get on the menu. Like that was like a new experience for me, man. I still wonder to this, I still wonder to this day, like whatever happened to them. Like, what happened to them, man? I should've got his email. I never had his, I just had his phone number. And I just went up to the restaurant. And when I go up there, they'll buy me. He's like, you wanna eat dinner tonight with us? You wanna eat dinner? You wanna come over and play some games? I'm over his house. It was pretty cool, man. But if they see me today, I live with a big time. <laughs> I live with a big time, they see, they, they see me today. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I wanted to just make that video, just talk about that. And um, like I told you guys in another video, like every week I'm gonna be making like, cause I got a lot of, I'm up to 700,000 subscribers now. Seven, over 700,000 now. So every week I'll be making like a Q and A video. Um, I'll be, well not making a Q and A video, but I'll be answering certain questions that I get like every week. So. I'm gonna have like five, I'm gonna have like five videos coming out every week, at least five. You know, because this I consider YouTube as my job too. So teaching and doing YouTube videos, man, that's a that's that's a job as well. So now that I got all these, uh, I got a lot more followers. I'm going to be making more content. We're gonna be traveling more. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. We're gonna be doing some great things here. So it's Sunday right now and. These are the videos that you guys are going to see next week. Retrospect video, we got retrospect, bonus level of video, Uber Chronicles. Um, I will be releasing a uh, Let's Speak Indonesian video, and then that video about answering the question. So that's five videos for next week. So it's gonna be a lit week. Lit.
But yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for viewing. Um, welcome to new subscribers. That's crazy. Still, still, I'm still being overwhelmed by that. It's a lot, but appreciate you guys. Um, look forward to your continued support. And um, yeah, you guys just keep being awesome. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm about to, I'm about to get this meal going. Peace out. Thanks for doing it.